Welcome to DABCC Radio, where smart people listen. Virtualization and Cloud Talk, featuring cutting edge solutions from the hottest companies around the globe. Broadcasting from the DABCC offices in sunny Sarasota, Florida. Surrounded by computers, books, and Legos. A Microsoft MVP, Citrix Charter CTP, VMware V Expert. And your host, Douglas Brown. Hello, this is Doug Brown, and welcome to DABCC Radio. We have a we we have an interesting episode for you today, a short episode for you today, not a really long one at all, uh, 15, 20 minutes, something like that conversation. And we're going to have this with Steve Morton, this uh, CMO and head of product management, all needs us to need stuff over at a new company called Ivanti, but it's not a new company. It's actually Landesk. Absence, heat, and a slew of others. So, what are they doing? Why is there a new name? What does this mean? What's changing? That's what we're going to try to get uh, to the bottom of in the in my interview with Steve. So, with no further ado, here's my interview with Steve Morton from Ivanti. Thanks so much for being on the show today, Steve. I look forward to this conversation as I personally look forward to understanding what is this new name, what's going on with the company, what about the you know existing products, what does this mean for all of us. So that's what we're going to talk about today. With no further ado, let's just dive into it. So for as always, my first question is, who are you? So who are you and what do you do over at Ivanti? Sure. It's a question a lot of people on my staff would probably like to have answered as well. The, the, so I'm the CMO over here at Avanti, which is the new uh, company name uh, for, as we mentioned, a combination of a whole bunch of companies uh, that have come together over the past uh, few weeks. So I have responsibility for the marketing organization uh, here, but also the product management team. So the folks that are defining the next uh, products and what's going to be on the price list and the strategic direction that folk, those folks are, are part of my team, which is which is awesome. Well, we definitely have the right guy on the show. That's that's great, Steve. Thank you so much. Uh, that being said, let's dive into this. Ivanti, you ha- it's been crazy over the past two, three, four, five, six months over there. You guys have been acquiring a lot of companies. Now you have a new name. Can you talk a bit about this? What is this Ivanti? Sure. Well, and, and it's really happened over the past few months, and, and uh, it's just been a crazy busy time. So, uh, back at the beginning of uh, of the year, somewhere around uh, I think January 20th is when it officially came together. There were multiple kind of chess moves that were happening. First of all, Landesk, the company that I've been a part of now for three and a half years, was uh, acquired by a new uh, um, uh, a private equity firm uh, named Clear Lake Capital. So uh, Clear Lake has been talking to us for a while. We were previously owned by a company named Tomo Bravo or by a uh, 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 equity group called Toma Bravo, uh, but we were sold to uh, Clear Lake Capital, who again has been talking to us for a long time. Part of Clear Lake's um, strategy is they look; they want to grow the business. They'd love to see uh, a company emerge that really uh, solves uh, problems in IT and profitably grows and all that type of stuff. And part of their portfolio uh, was heat software. Um, you know, the traditional uh, vendors around uh, IT service management. Uh, some asset management, some security products in their portfolio, really a, 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 a message that was closely aligned with what we were trying to do at Landesk. So first of all, Landesk was uh, sold and purchased by Clear Lake Capital. And the second piece is uh, we were merged with uh, Heat Software as part of that. So uh, kind of a double double whammy there all of a sudden. Okay, so you acquire Heat, but you also go out and pick up a company that everybody on this call knows uh, knows quite well, and that is a company called Absence. So can you bring us up to speed? You acquire Absence, anything new there? What's going on with, with Absence, good old Absence? Yeah, yeah. So we actually, as part of Landesk, acquired uh, Absence. Uh, I guess it's been uh, coming up on a year. I can't believe that. Wow. Um, but um, over the past, uh, basically over the past year and a half, uh, the company has uh, doubled in size, over more than doubled in size. 
and we've been bringing a lot of technologies coming together and all that all that work that's been happening really necessitated a chance for us to change the company name and to bring all the brands under a common uh, moniker. So that's how we got to uh, Ivanti as part of that strategy. So after all these acquisitions, and really Landesk was the company buying these companies, um, who's running the business now? Is it still Landesk people? Uh, you're there, obviously, Landesk guy. And anybody from Absence, Heat, anything like that? Uh, who's running the business now? Can you talk a bit about that? Sure. And and the answer is uh, Steve Daly, uh, the CEO of Landesk, is the CEO of Avanti now. And uh, we have uh, uh, largely the same executive team that was uh, working with Landesk with a couple of additions onto the executive staff um, the, uh, from the heat side of the business. So think of it really as a new company, but a combination of um, of folks from, again, Landesk, Wavelink, Shavlik, uh, Lamention, Heat Software, and of course, Absence. Are you guys fully integrated now? Uh, you know, as far as personnel, well, it's only like been that? it's only been a few weeks, right? It's only been three weeks, so we're getting pretty we're getting we're getting there. But that's that's a journey that obviously we're going to be on. But um, yeah, we've uh, we've you know, the first step of that journey is is rebranding the company, calling us something new, kind of setting the foundation for what we want to do going forward. Okay, just just a few hours ago, I, I went over to Absence.com thinking I'd be redirected to Avanti.com, and I wasn't, which surprised me. So are you guys keeping the old sites? going to merge that into Avanti.com. What's going on there? If I want to learn information about, let's say, Absence or Heat, where do I go? What's the best place to go? Sure, sure. And you know, we have, the, the as you mentioned, the Absence website is still up, though we'll be increasingly putting people over to the Avanti website and and uh, and driving that as the master brand, but you know, Absence got a gr- has a great name in this in this industry. Okay. Right? They they certainly have been around for a long time and a lot of great people that are there and still with the company. And there, you know there's a lot of good things. So I don't want to as a CMO I don't want to lose that brand equity. And so part of our strategy is we'll we'll go to you know Avanti will be the the, the master brand uh, going forward, and then we'll have things like Environment Manager uh, powered by Absence. So uh, people that will be looking for the Absence name or, for that matter, the Landesk or Shavlik name, whatever the case may be, will see it in the product name uh, under a Powered By kind of strategy. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. That way, that way people still recognize it and, and, and obviously, um, but, but also start to associate with that new name of the company that is, the, again, the bringing together of all those, those pieces of technology. Cool. So it's not like an alphabet Google type of deal. It's eventually no, 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 nothing that that nothing that uh, 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 complicated. I hope. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I guess that is pretty complicated, isn't it? Uh, so perfect. So Absence Environment Manager will always will be Ivanti Environment Manager powered by Absence, right? Yeah, that's and, right. And and that's a, though that's a long name. I think it it gives us a chance to make sure that people again can find it. They know the the promise that uh, that absence is made and and, uh, and and we'll continue that for you know I don't, I, I don't have any secret plans to to retire that or any of that type of stuff that's just the, the way they're doing it and, and one of the things too I mentioned Doug is that you know part of this branding exercise means giving really good descriptive names for each of the products yeah when you start to have a big portfolio you want to have not a lot of marketing speak in, in between so um, you know, we'll, we'll, we, we will have descriptive names for each of those products. And then again, moving to the powered by strategy to make sure people can still find it. Okay, perfect. So, but in the meantime, if somebody wants to learn more about absence or heat or any of these other technologies, products, where should they go? Yeah, for, for, well, we want them to come to Avanti.com, right? Uh, I V A N T I.com. Uh, that, that's really, we had an awesome new work, uh, reworked, uh, website, uh, we really improve the navigation, the mobile experience, the the way that people can find and interact with uh, the product experts. Um, uh, we we will keep those other uh, websites um, up and running, um, but we'll, over time we'll migrate those all to, over to Avanti.com or push more of our traffic and SEO and all those things and really make Avanti.com the cornerstone of uh, where people get more information. Perfect. And in blog articles and things like that, those, those will be on the new site? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, it's a big part of our strategy. It's a great way to get people, obviously, to come and look at the the complete product set. Perfect, perfect. So really, nothing. It's a it's a lot of business stuff. But as far as to us, uh, we have a new website to go to, a new name 
but the same products and just getting better with tighter integration between your entire suite, I imagine. Yeah, right? and, that, and that's an important part you just mentioned. One of the reasons that we've decided to change the name, um, we didn't think Landesk, the name, was big enough to hold um, you know, this vision that we've got. We wanted to build kind of a new foundation, a new way of, of describing who we are. And again, Landis has got a great name in systems management and increasingly in security, but we wanted something that we could really bring all those brands under. Um, and, uh, you know, that's a, that's a big part of the, of, of the strategy. In that being said, let's talk about products real quick. So there's a lot of changes on the business side and the branding side and the naming side. What about the product side? You know, what, what's new there? And, and, and if I can ask the future question at the same time, where are you going with this? Yeah, well, I, I think um, I, I, I think there's it's, it seems like a, a lot for us in marketing and the product management side. But the good news is that customers and, and prospects and partners will still recognize the same products, the same people, the same um, uh, the same, uh, you know, roadmaps that we've had before. What we'll be doing more work to integrate the products. Um, you know, there's a big advantage of, uh, of, uh, of making sure that you, for example, on unified endpoint management, that you, you're, you're supporting virtual environments, uh, mobile environments, uh, traditional PC environments, uh, and things like that. So um, you'll see more work on, from a roadmap standpoint to make sure that uh, ongoing management of, of devices and, and types are, are, are um, you know, kind of brought together and that uh, existing customers have chances to to, uh, to learn more and, and experience how things like uh, operational security come into the portfolio, things like whitelisting, things like patch management. We're all of a sudden, by the way, uh, probably the dominant player in third-party patch management um, as we bring Lumension and Shavlik into that Avanti uh, portfolio, or things like asset management. Again, some things that maybe uh, traditional customers have thought of us in one particular way, but there'll be more opportunities um, uh, within the products um, to branch out and to add additional functionality um, and, and, you know, solve an additional set of problems. So, uh, again, um, there, there aren't a ton of roadmap changes. Uh, again, some things have been shifted towards more towards integration and giving an expanded kind of piece of the pie. But you'll, 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 you'll recognize the same cadence, the same uh, push towards uh, enhancements that we've had uh, for a long time now. You know, from the techie side of me, I always think of one management tool, you know, the, the desire to have one umbrella. Do you see a day when you guys will have one umbrella, one management tool? I, I think there's a day when there's one umbrella, but there obviously is a need to be able to go deep in each of those functional areas. So uh, I, I don't want to give anybody the impression that we're not going to maintain a deep focus on on uh, virtual environments, right, or, or traditional systems management environments. But the goal would be, yeah, yeah, people want one pane of glass, right? They want uh, uh, they want these products to be uh, nicely coupled. And, uh, yeah, we're going to put some engineering and product management time and effort behind that. That's great. That's great. And channel partners, anything changed there? We've been putting together our, our channel programs, you know, with the AppSense side and the, and, uh, the Landes side, for example. We've been... Uh, We've been bringing those partner uh, programs together. There's a bunch of work that's been happening on that, but um, yeah, no, 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 no big changes, no big announcements on that. Right now, we're just trying to make sure we all pronounce the products and the and the and the name of the company the same way. I think that's our. Well, I'd be happy with that as a goal for at least the, the first step. So I have to ask from the channel side. I imagine there's no changes, but any changes from the channel side? Again, no changes in that, in that channel program. We brought, again, some of the channel programs together, made sure that they look the same way, that, um, you know, MDF works the same way, that all those things kind of kind of come together. But um, uh, no no real changes on the channel side. Um, uh, and I think that's good news for a lot of the folks that are listening to your program. Thank you. Uh, that's all the questions I had for you. I just really wanted to understand what was going on with the new name. You totally answered that. What else do I say? But I'll go ahead and give you the last word. If there's anything we will miss, anything you'd like to add, here's your chance. No, I, I think to, just to recap, it's, it's uh, yeah, Ivanti. It is a combination of all those great products and people that uh, you've known before. Um, it sets a foundation for you know our aspirations to be that spot where unified endpoint management, security, IT service management, uh, and and, uh, and and industrial mobility, where those pieces all kind of come together. And, uh, you know, the, I, I guess the thing I'd leave you with is, you know, changing a name is a big thing for a company this size. I mean, we're, we're almost a half a billion dollars now in annual revenue and, and run rate. 
But the reality is a name change is what you put behind it. It's uh, that's that's where the real work happens. And you know when Steve Daly, uh, our CEO, stood up at our sales conference and said, "Look, these are the the three things we want to be known for. We want to be have profitable growth. Uh, we want to have it a, be a great place to work, and you know we, we want to have uh, continue that this, this huge focus around customer closeness." Um, those are the things that we want to be known for. That's what we want uh, Ivanti to be known for, and that's the, the that's where the real work uh, continues to be. That's great. That's great. Well, Steve, again, thank you so much for your time today. My pleasure, Doug. Always good to talk. Okay, that concludes another successful episode of DABCC Radio. As always, I want to thank my guests for today. I always do this. I have to thank them. It's so great, and I'm honored that these people come on my show and talk with us and share what they're doing with us. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And uh, so, again, I want to thank my guest for today, Steve Morton, the CMO over at Ivanti. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time out of your extremely busy day. Just all these acquisitions, new name. This guy's busy, and he comes on DABCC. So what do I say? But he comes on because of you guys. The show's a success because of you guys listen. So thank you so much for that. If you enjoy the show, definitely tell a friend. Head over to www.dabcc.com for the latest and greatest cloud and virtualization and mobility and Internet of Things and desktop and Citrix and VMware and Microsoft and Cisco and Ivanti news and support resources. You'll never miss a beat if you head over to DABCC often. We'll keep you up to date. So on that note, guys, thank you so much for listening to what? DABCC Radio. Can you say DABCC? DABC. Say it again, D-A-B-C-C. D-A-B-C. Can you say it again, D-A-B-C-C. D-A-B-C. How about D-A-B-C-C. D-A-B-C. D-A-B-C-C. 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 D-A-B-C-C.